Is she on her way yet? Oh, where is she? It's a big show. We're through to the last 16. Where is she? Jill? Jill! Jill! <sighs> Forget it. Roll titles. Hello and welcome to a very special Lionesses Down Under connected by EE e. and I finally managed to find Jill. Here she is, Jill and Lauren Hemp in Adelaide. Great to see you, Jill. Kyle, yes, I'm in Adelaide after a great 6-1 victory over China and look who I found, Lauren Hemp. How did that feel last night? Yeah, it was amazing. A fantastic result. I mean, We've been trying to get as many goals as possible recently and I think yesterday showed the England that we wanted to show throughout the tournament so far. So hopefully long may that continue. Definitely. And I can't wait to get into it and talk about that performance some more with you, Lauren. But before we do that, as you can see, Jill and Lauren are in Adelaide today, also known as Tarn Tanya. And we'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land, the Ghana people, and pay our respects to the elders past, present and emerging. Now you can get involved in the show today. How do you do that? I hear you asking. Have you not been watching us? Jump on the hashtag, all right? Lionesses down under. We want to hear from you. Any messages of support, your thoughts on the game, your thoughts on the goals, or any questions for Lauren, you can do that. So let's get straight into it, okay? Jill, Lauren, top of the group through to the last 16. I can see some of the players chilling as well. Uh, everyone seems to be quite positive, <laughs> as well as you guys. What's the mood like in the camp? Yeah, everyone's feeling pretty confident. I think yesterday was a massive step in the right direction. Um, obviously, now our focus turns to Nigeria, so it's important that we rest now, recover. A few of the girls are doing ice over there. Um, so, yeah, and a few of the girls are training as well. So it's important that we now turn that focus onto Nigeria because they're going to be a tough opponent. This is the only way I can catch up with Lauren nowadays. I've been trying to get a coffee for two weeks, but she's so famous now. I'm but sorry, how long have this show been going on for? You haven't even asked me to do it. Have you been now. watching it? Mm. Yes, that's a yes. But Lauren, first World Cup goal, OK? Yeah. I want you to talk us through it, because sometimes as players, it's a little bit different as we see it as fans. So tell us about your goal. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I was sort of playing it in a new role yesterday. Um, and I thought literally just whenever someone gets the ball and turns and starts running, just literally run yourself and manage to find a little pocket of space. And obviously LJ played a, a fantastic ball through to me and my first touch uh, doesn't normally come off very well, but it did <laughs> yesterday. Um, and then, yeah, I see the goalkeeper come off their line and sort of was a bit more to their right. So then I just slotted it in the left and yeah, it, it was an incredible moment and one that I'll, I'll cherish forever. Yeah, and obviously on playing a new role, we're seeing that England switched it up tactically. Mm -hmm. Some of the play was amazing at times, but how did you enjoy that new role? Do you think it suits your style of play? Yeah, definitely. I think me and Les work really well off of each other. She's more of a, I mean, I don't like to give the tactics away, but she obviously <laughs> likes to come short and, <laughs> and get on it. Whereas I'm more like running in behind and things like that. And I thought yesterday um, we had a great connection and we managed to do, to do that just and obviously she scored a fantastic goal as well and there were so many incredible goals and I think it just shows the amount of depth we've got in this England squad that anyone can come on and change the game and, and contribute, which is, is amazing to have. Definitely, and that is exactly what happened, all right. So let's try and break it down in order. England got off to another lightning fast start. Alessia Russo, you just mentioned there, opened the scoring. What a strike it was. A well-worked move as well. Lauren, how important was it getting that early goal, taking control of the play, and of course, for Les, for Alessia Russo to actually get off the mark with her, her scoring in this World Cup? Yeah, it was really important for us to get off to a flying start. And obviously we scored so many goals and, and I feel like that as a group is what we needed. Um, I feel like we're in a really good place now, really confident. 
Um, and yeah, it was it was a great finish from Les. It's it's nothing that I don't expect from her because she's an unbelievable forward and always got an eye for goal and always seems to be scoring. So yeah, she's a credit to having the team and it was it was a great finish. When you score after four minutes in a in a game like that, do you feel like everything's just going to fall into place? Is there that early feeling of you know what today is going to be our day? Yeah, I feel like when you score, like I don't know, it just you just feel a bit more calm and relaxed and I feel like we showed that throughout the first half in our play we, as soon as we scored that goal we were a bit more calm on the ball composed and I think that's something that obviously as you go through the tournament like you you have nerves to begin with which is only natural but I feel like getting that early goal sort of made us all feel a bit more calmer on the ball and we were able to create lots more chances and obviously playing in a new formation a lot of us aren't used to doing that so I feel like we adapted really well and Obviously, it was great to get off to a flying start. Yeah, and we have to mention Lauren James, yeah. LJ. Imagine if that third one had counted oh in terms of getting a hat-trick. But yeah, she's some player, isn't she? And kind of, what's it been like playing with her? Can you see her growing in confidence with each game? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's literally no words to describe that girl. Like, she's unbelievable. And you see her every day in training. Um, and obviously... It, you're seeing it in games and, and it's great that the world can see how unbelievable of a player she is. I mean, we see it in the WSL every single week and, and now the world is seeing that. Um, and yeah, it, it's amazing to have her on this team and she creates so many chances for us, scores so many goals. And to be honest, if I was her, I'd be fuming about that goal. <laughs> um, not going in, but she had an amazing game yesterday. I had an amazing game the other day as well. So yeah, I mean, she's grown throughout the tournament and yeah, she's, she's a confident girl and, yeah, is a massive credit to this team. And that second goal, it was actually outrageous, that volley, wasn't it? Yeah. As a player, she made that look easy, didn't she? That's not an easy technique to do. Yeah, I, I know. I look at her in training and, like you said, it, it just looks so easy. And it's incredible that the finishes that, like, she does that every day in training. So for us, it's all just the norm. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, she's, she's fantastic. Yeah. She definitely is. Now, the goals were spread out throughout the entire team, even the substitutes as well. Lauren, I want to come to you on this because Chloe Kelly, she came on for you. How pleased were you that she came off the bench, she managed to get a goal? Yeah, really pleased, obviously. Chloe's a really good friend of mine. We play at City together. Um, and yeah, she came on. I feel like as soon as she came on, she made a difference. Uh, she was running at defence. And yeah, she, she was just great and obviously managed to get a goal as well. And like I said, it, it's great to see people contributing, coming off the pit, coming off the bench, sorry, um, and really bringing it. And I feel like if as long as we do that throughout the whole tournament, then anything can happen. And the icing on the cake, a rich daily mm -hmm. goal, especially after them incredible performances all season for Aston Villa. How deserved was that moment for her? Yeah, so deserved. Obviously, she was playing left wing back yesterday was running up and down that pitch for the whole game and <laughs> yeah deserved to finish that and it was a great finish as well right. and we'll love a little exclusive or an insight here on Lionesses Down Under obviously you know that because you've been watching us yeah, every single absolutely. day so what did Serena say to the team at full time um it was just all really positive um really she was really impressed with the performance obviously like I said we, we haven't played in that formation previously so it was great to get get a good start and Obviously, we scored six amazing goals, so, which was really important for us. So, yeah, it was just all positive and obviously we're through to the last 16. So, yeah, exciting stuff. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, it definitely is. Right, we've got um, a question now that I want to ask you because I actually saw this the other day. When we're sat on the couch, we get to see all the amazing things that are happening, especially when it comes to the diary room because it's not too far from our studio you had your incredible Lego globe with you, all right? I thought you were going to drop it at one point, but you didn't. We've got a video of it on the screen as well, spinning round. You've got a little bit more time now to uh, keep on creating and keep on uh, building that Lego. So what's your creation for this week, all right? What have you got planned now we've got an extra few days in Australia? Um... To be honest, like, I've got a couple of things. I've got one which is a lighthouse and one which is this, like, cabin thing. But I feel like I wanted to start with the globe because I feel like it was, like, really fitting, obviously, us being in Australia, across the other side of the world. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to do the lighthouse next. It's just I'm still trying to work out how I'm going to get it all back. 
Um, <laughs> so I don't want to make too many things because then I actually won't be able to carry anything back. I'll just oh. have to start getting Ez and Neve to, to take it for me. Um, but yeah, it's it, for me, it's like really therapeutic. So I like doing that when I've sort of come in from a hard day's training and, and can just do that. And obviously, like, they turn out to be pretty cool. And I just literally have them up all in my shelves at home which is nice and Hempo on that there's been so many people getting in touch to ask you a question and Mandy got in touch to ask how are you getting that Lego globe home so I think you've pretty much answered that you might have yeah. to give it to Neve to throw in her bag to throw in her bag she, nah they whoever I give it to has to hold it for dear life throughout the whole of the 24 hour flight. <laughs> I'll just be sat there laying down on my, on my seat holding this globe. And hopefully you can be holding the World Cup trophy. <laughs> yeah, I'll hold that in the other hand. <laughs> right, definitely. Let's move on, okay, because there's been so much reaction from home, okay? We've had people getting in touch, okay? Don't forget, you can get in touch. Hashtag lionesses down under. We want to hear from you. But let's get some of the reaction from the socials last night, okay? And all the support that's coming in from the England family. Beth Mead tweeted this. You wanted goals, the girls give you them. What a performance at Lionesses with a clapping emoji and a fire emoji as well. LJ, take a bow. She was definitely impressed with that performance last night. Ian Wright, he tweeted this one, okay. She makes that look so easy at Lauren James 22 with loads of clapping emojis. And here is one that I absolutely love. We see them doing the rounds whenever England are playing. Fox Park Croydon, okay? These were the scenes, all right, when England were playing last night. Let's take a look at them because, wow, it was absolutely going off. Right, well, fans were um, definitely enjoying that fourth goal. That was the reaction to it. They had loads of goals to celebrate last night. But that's not just the special messages we wanted to bring to you here on Lionesses Down Under. Because, Jill, you've got another special message, haven't you? From someone that's uh, close to Lauren, who was there when she was getting started in the playground of North Walsham High School. I do indeed, Kyle. So this person said you would be good at anything that you turned your hand to. And apparently it could have been cricket, hockey, cross country, but you decided to stick to football and we're very glad that you made that decision. So here's what they had to say. Hey, Humpy, just a quick message to say congratulations on today's result. Nice composed finish from yourself as well. Um, good luck on Monday against Nigeria and uh, keep going, you're inspiring loads of people back here. Good luck. So that was your old PE teacher, Mr Bradshaw. Did you recognise his voice there? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so Hempy, how does it feel to know that you're inspiring so many people back home? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's crazy to think that I'm known as a role model to many young girls because I still feel like a young girl myself, to be honest, <laughs> most of the time. Um, but yeah, I know a lot of people back home are, are supporting and I think I see that support every single time I go back to Norwich, um, back where I came from and it's incredible to see that and it's nice to get the support as well off my old PE teacher, <laughs> which is always nice. Yeah. It is, and that support extends from home all the way to the stadiums as well. And I'm delighted to say that we're actually joined by some of the fans that were at the game in Adelaide last night. They've been travelling around the country following the Lionesses. And I'm sure, Lauren and Angel, when we've been at the games, you've seen and felt all their support. So let's get into it. Let's welcome every single one of you. How are you feeling after last night? We've got Shahan and we've got Maisie. We'll be speaking to you guys. Welcome. Welcome to Lionesses Down Under. Hi. Hi. It's great to see you all. Uh, you are all at the game, weren't you? Shahan, I'll come to you about it, though. Talk to me about the atmosphere. It looked slightly colder in Adelaide, but I'm sure that didn't dampen any of the spirits. Exactly, Kyle. I mean, it was so cold in Adelaide that I chose not to wear shorts, which I did for the previous two <laughs> games in Brisbane and in Sydney. Uh, it was the smallest stadium that the Lionesses have played in, in this World Cup so far. But it was a packed atmosphere. Um, the, us fans, we were singing and the, China, and the China fans brought their support as well. But it was great to see you, the Lionesses get, get the goals in, in both ends so all the fans could see. 
It definitely was. And Maisie, I want to come to you on this because what a trip it's been. I mean, the group stages have been amazing from Brisbane to Sydney, now to Adelaide. Talk to me about what you've enjoyed so much so far. How special has it been in Australia? I think it's been amazing. It's like my first time in Australia and to come over to be able to watch the football. I've actually extended my trip. I was meant to go back home tomorrow and now I'm flying to Brisbane and Sydney to stay on until the finals. So it's just great being over here and watching a spot that I love. Oh, amazing. You've called in sick at work. You've said that I can't make it. I'm staying out in Australia. <laughs> what, a, what a place to be. OK, I don't blame you for doing I that. All right. I'm to be at work on um, Saturday, so <laughs> I need to let them know that I won't be there on Saturday. <laughs> make sure you do that now because they'll be watching us and they'll find out that you're not turning up. It's all right. It's a secret. I won't tell anyone. OK, uh, Shahan, talk to me about this. How many of you are traveling around together? I can see the group. I can see you all there just now what have you been, get, been getting up to as well when there's not been um, any games in the cities that you've been at so there's about 10 of us here some of us are here for the group stages some of us are here for the whole tournament and there's going to be some people come for the knockout stages uh we spent four nights in brisbane six nights in sydney and four here in adelaide um, we've just been looking around the towns and the cities and going to the fifa fan festivals just watching the like, matilda's games and any other games are on show here and we've been checking out like various locations around such as Australia Zoo, the Gold Coast um, and yeah we're just ex ex experiencing the culture, experiencing the climate, getting to meet the locals and great, getting to see the great support here for the Matildas and of course for the Lionesses as well. Of course, and it's amazing that you're all being able to do that. Make those memories and follow the Lionesses together. Maisie, my last question, you've already kind of answered it all right. You're going to be at the game on Monday. You've extended your trip. You've called in work sick. You're not going to be there. You're staying in Australia. I mean, how excited are you? England are taking on Nigeria. The round of 16, you must be looking so, for, so much forward to it. I'm really excited just to... I wasn't ready to leave after last night's game. Just have two more games over here and then hopefully go home and then watch them in the final. It's, it's amazing. I'm so excited. Amazing. Well, enjoy the rest of your trip, OK? I can't wait to hopefully see you at the game on Monday, continuing um, all of that support. It's amazing what you're doing, not just you two, but the entire group. Thank you for all of the support and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Come on, England. Bye. See you later. Come on, England, as they said. Right, Jill, I mean, amazing scenes in Adelaide. All the fans have been incredible. I'll throw it back to you just for a quick reaction on that. Yeah, the, honestly, the fans have been so good. I've been probably the biggest fan in the crowd, cheering the team on. But yeah, honestly, it's been absolutely amazing and a, a real honour to follow the team round. But I must get through some of these questions, Carl, because the love for you, Hempo, your inbox and mentions must be actually <laughs> blowing up at the minute. So I need to ask Hempo some of them. So Olivia on Insta asks, who was your idol growing up? Um, I feel like I had You don't have to say me. It's okay. I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I had quite a few role models growing up. Uh, for example, Kelly Smith, Karen Carney as well. So happy birthday for yesterday. Um, so yeah, she was a massive one for me. Um, even just coming into the England setup, like she was always there for a shoulder to lean on. Um, so yeah, th there's been plenty and I'm very grateful for the people past and present. <laughs> past <laughs> and present <laughs> no but i am and obviously it's it's nice to sort of carry on that journey and i mean we wouldn't all be here if it wasn't for the people before us and yeah we're very grateful i think we're all very happy for the present <laughs> at the minute so yeah caitlin got in touch with a good question for aspiring players out there how did you train to improve your speed i want to know this maybe you should have told me this whilst i was playing <laughs> You know what? I haven't actually done that much, to be honest. I feel like it's more of like something you're born with, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> or not. Like fast switch fibers, is that it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and I feel like, to be honest, like I did a bit of athletics when I was younger, done a bit of sprint mechanics, but like nothing major. I feel like just sprint and like. I feel like if you just keep sprinting, you'll maybe get better at it. <laughs> yeah, and Hemp, well, I see how hard you work in the gym and on a day-to-day -day basis. So oh, yeah. I know I'm that's strong. not all true. <laughs> and the last one is, Mia wants to know, who is the best table tennis player? That's a very controversial question. 
Um, I'd like to say myself. Yeah. I've been playing knee quite a lot, but she claims that she's undefeated, but she never actually wants to have a game with anyone. Okay, so um, that's why she's undefeated. Yeah, that is why she's undefeated, because <laughs> she never has a game. Um, Kumi and Ez are also really good. Yeah. Um, so I feel like we're all quite up there. We're always having like double competitions and things like that, but I'm yet to find someone who's beaten me, so oh. maybe myself. <laughs> wow. Wow, I mean, I want to take you on then, Lauren, all right? Let's play a bit of table tennis there. It sounds like you were throwing uh, throwing it out there, thinking that you're the best table tennis player. Come on, bring it. I'll, I'll take you on any time. But I have got one all question right. uh, for you, OK? Obviously, you're over there in the sunshine. You've got your sunglasses on. You're in Adelaide. Will you come and join yeah. us back in the studio? Because we've got the tower. You need to take it on. I know you're great at building things, but do you think you can take LJ off the top of the tower? I would give it a good go, you know, but I, yeah, like you said, I'm still waiting for my call up, which hasn't happened yet. So I'm excited <laughs> to get back and hopefully soon I'll be given, <laughs> given another opportunity and yeah, give it my best shot and you never know. <laughs> right. Okay. I'll make sure you get into the studio. I'll make sure you're invited in. All right. We'll play table tennis. You can take on the tower. We can have all the fun back here. Perfect. But that's um, all we've got for today. Jill, Lauren... Thank you so much for joining us. I'm very jealous of the sunshine that you've got in Adelaide. Uh, what an incredible performance last night, Jill. 6-1 to England through to the round of 16. Yeah, absolutely amazing. And Kyle, I've missed you, so I'm about to get on a flight and get myself back because tomorrow we've got Neve Charles oh. in the studio. Wait, wait, Jill, <laughs> you, you weren't meant to take... Oh, you've spoiled it. You've spoiled it. You weren't it's all right. It's oh. okay. You can have that one. It's all right. Now you can join you us 12.30. Yeah, Neve is coming into the studio. Don't be jealous, Lauren. You will get a chance to be here. I promise. All right. I uh, am. I'm fuming. <laughs> Uh, you can look out for us, OK? 12.30, as always, will be on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter and TikTok. You don't want to miss this one. Jill will be back in the studio. I'll be in the studio. I'll be joined by Neve Charles. We'll see you then.